Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel or if you guys are new here for the first time, then hello, welcome. In today's video, we are decorating my new two-tiered stand. I have gotten so many requests to do more videos of styling tiered stands. I know a lot of you guys have difficulties decorating them, figuring out what to put on them, how to create height, and all of that good stuff. So I will be sharing with you how I style my new tiered stand. I do have a 25% off discount code to Hive and Home, which is where I got my two tiered stand from. So if you guys are interested in getting a new tiered stand, definitely check out their website. I will have my discount code along with their website in the description box down below for you. I am also filming my full fall home tour today right after I finish filming this haul. So that will be up after this video. So I hope that you guys are excited for that. I did also film my Halloween decorate with me, which will also be live either before or after this video. I did kind of change up my Hobby Lobby shelf that you guys always ask me about. It was 50% off just the other day. I will always have it linked down below for you if you are interested. Definitely wait until it is 50% off on Hobby Lobby's website because it is not worth paying like the $120 that it is on the website. Today is the first day that it feels like fall, so I have my chunky sweater on along with my hat from Amazon. I will have the hat link down below for you guys if you are interested. I have been pretty much cleaning all dang day to get my house ready for the fall house tour. I just got ready, ate some lunch, and now I am off to filming for you guys. I am trying to film as much as I can, but I also wanted to quickly touch on that as well. So over the next probably month or so, I am probably not going to be uploading two times a week. I will try my hardest like I always do, but I have been having a lot of things go on lately. My aunt is visiting here in town and I've just been really busy with work, which is good. I'm not complaining about any of that, but I feel like when things get busy in life, I sometimes stress about YouTube and I'm trying not to do that. I'm trying to only create content that I really love creating and that I really think you guys will also like watching. So if I do not create as much content within the next few months, that is why, obviously with Christmas coming up within the next couple months, I will be having a ton of Decorate With Me's for that, but I just want to mainly focus on things in my life right now, and if I have time to film videos for YouTube, I will. I do post quite a bit over on my Instagram, so please make sure to go follow me over on there if you're not already. It is Molly Nicole XO, and I'm doing monthly giveaways for the rest of the year over there and here on my YouTube channel. So I just quickly wanted to touch on that. I know most of you probably won't even notice or wonder, but I did want to bring it up briefly to let you guys know kind of what's going on and what will be going on the next couple months. Work and family is obviously my number one priority and just getting things done around the house. I only have two days off, which eventually I would love to have three days off from my full-time job, which is being a hairstylist. I did also color my hair. I posted on my Instagram. It has faded a little bit because I did wash it. The lighting is not the greatest in this video because it is very gloomy out. It is like 49 degrees out today. So great fall day, but it is like a rose gold kind of color. I really like it, but it probably will be going away tonight because I am going to be washing my hair, but I thought I would share it with you guys. I did use a Kristen S product from Target, so I will have that link down below. It washes out in about two to three washings, so it's something that you can do if you want something different, but it's not permanent. So enough of me rambling. I am going to go ahead and get into decorating the tiered stand and also show you guys what I did differently with my Hobby Lobby shelf. I will have everything, like I said, linked down below for you. And also don't forget to use my 25% off discount code if you are interested in shopping anything on the Hive and Home website. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get on to decorating. Get on 
to decorating the two-tiered stand, I wanted to show you guys what I am working with. So what I would recommend is going around your house or going out to Hobby Lobby or Home Goods and picking up some simple items for your tiered stand. So this is what my tiered stand looks like. Again, it is from Hive and Home and I absolutely love it. This is the two-tiered stand. It is a really pretty bright white color. So these are the items that I have picked out from around my house. I just recently got this adorable baby bird from one of my friends. I am so happy that she let me have this. So thank you so much. I seriously am in love. It is so little and tiny. It's probably not even picking up how small it is. So I have that. I have my baby heart canister from Ray Dunn. And then I also have my measuring cups as well. And then I do have some greenery. So I do have lamb's ear back here and then I do also have some greenery from the Target Bullseye playground area and then I also have these little felt pumpkins that are from the dollar spot section in Target as well. And then I also got this little pot from the Bullseye playground and I just put some greenery in it because we are going to use this for height. I have thought about painting this white because I'm not a huge fan of the black and white especially for this theme. But we are going to be putting this in the back just to add some height to the top so that it does fill in. So now that we have everything that I want to use on the tiered stand, we are going to start decorating. Now obviously with this smaller two-tiered stand, it's going to be a lot easier than something like this. I do have a decorate with me where I show you guys how I did decorate this pretty massive three-tiered stand. I will have that link down below if you are interested. But this one is going to be so much easier because it is on the smaller side so let's go ahead and start decorating. All right so since this tiered stand is going to be in the corner here we are not going to concentrate too much on the back area because you are not going to be able to see that at all. So if you are going to have this in an area where you are going to see all around the tiered stand you obviously want to make sure to do something on the back side so that it is appealing to the eye all the way around. So to start out with, I know that I want to put my baby bird birdhouse right here, but as you can see, it sits a little bit lower so you can't see the baby bird wording too much. So I'm actually just going to take a paper towel folded up and I'm just going to put that underneath it. With it being white, it is going to blend in pretty well. So once we have that right there in the middle, I am going to be taking some lamb's ear and putting that on the sides of it. Now, greenery is going to be your best friend when decorating a tiered tray. If you just put random items on a tiered tray, there's gonna be a lot of empty space and it's going to look very empty and not completed. So greenery, like I said, is an absolute must. So I'm just going to put some lamb's ear on each side of the birdhouse and you can just kind of wrap this around whatever you have in the middle there. Lamb's ear is one of my favorite greenery to work with. I feel like it goes with every single season and you can use it year round. I do have a tip if you go to Hobby Lobby in the wedding section they have a lamb's ear garland that when it's 50% off it's only $10 and you can actually cut the lamb's ear off of there. It's a much cheaper option than just getting the lamb's ear picks. So I will have that link down below for you guys if you are interested. Before the bottom of the tiered stand, I am going to put this baby heart canister right here. And then I am going to put my measuring cups on the left hand side. So as you can see, there's a lot of empty space here. So for me, I do not enjoy that. I feel like it doesn't look complete and my eye just isn't drawn to it. So I am going to add some lamb's ear to the middle of the measuring cups and the canister. And you can move these around obviously however you would like or whatever you think looks good. You can also pick apart the greenery to make it look fuller. So once you have the greenery the way that you want it to be, I'm going to go ahead and take some more greenery. This is some that I just got from the dollar spot section like I mentioned. Now, like I said, we're not putting anything really behind it because you're not going to see it. 
but I am going to throw this on the side. As you can see, it just fills in that side area and it doesn't look as empty. And we're just gonna do the same thing on the other side. All right, so now that we have the bottom pretty much finished, we're going to finish up the top. So I am going to take this little pot with the greenery in it and I'm just going to put this back here. Now you can see that you can't really see the pot too much and that's exactly what we want. I will eventually go back through and paint that pot, but for right now, for the sake of the video, we're just gonna go ahead and leave it. Now we're going to take these two pumpkins and we're going to put them right up here to fill in the space. I was going for more of a neutral theme with the blues and greens, as you can tell, but I wanted to add a little bit of fall, so I am adding these pumpkins. I'm just putting the other one on the side, and as you can see, it is pretty much complete. I do have these three pumpkins left that I didn't use, but I will end up putting them in the back, so if you do see anything through there, you will be able to see that there is something back there. So I'm gonna turn this around so you guys can kind of see what I'm doing here. It's really empty in the back, again, because I am not going to be seeing this area, but that is what it looks like. I threw these pumpkins right back here, and then here is the pot that I will end up painting. So that is what the tiered tray looks like. I absolutely love the way that it came out, and I love my little baby bird at Birdhouse. It is one of my favorite items from Ray Dunn. So I'm going to give you guys a closer look at it so you can see what it actually looks like. I love the neutral tones, especially for fall time. And you can kind of see how that pot in the back gives it that height. If this was not back there, it would look a little empty. So that is why I added something. You wanna make sure that you do give your tiered tray some height. That's one of the biggest things. And then filling in empty areas with the greenery. pushed it back into the corner a little bit more so you can see what it looks like. I did change out my Hobby Lobby stand as well, just a little bit. I was over the apples. I feel like it really didn't go with my theme this year, so I took them away. Right here in the middle, I added this Thankful Gnome from Ray Dunn. It is a candle, but I cannot stand the way that it smells, so it will be just for display only. And then right here where the apples were, I put my little pumpkins that I picked up from Trader Joe's and I added my honey pot back onto this stand from Michael's. I get a lot of questions about this stand, so if I can find it, I will have it linked down below for you. So this is how the corner of my kitchen turned out. I am absolutely in love with it. I love decorating tiered stands and I can't wait to do something fun for Christmas. I am so dang excited to decorate. Christmas is my favorite time. There's just so much to decorate, and I love the Christmas tree. It just feels extra cozy. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to give it a thumbs up, and make sure you're subscribed to my channel down below. Also, if you are not following me over on Instagram, please make sure to do so, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye, Stay Marvelous.